man from America went to London, was traveling in a train. The elderly British lady and gentleman. Lady had a pet dog. Suddenly the dog jumped on this guy and vomited. This lady, instead of apologizing, he started patting the dog. Oh, what happened to you? I don't know. You have bad stomach. I should take you to the doctor. Young man kept quiet, did not speak much. After a few minutes, again this dog jumped on him and pissed. Again this lady, instead of apologizing, she started saying, Oh, I should take you to the doctor immediately. I don't know what happened to you today. After a few minutes, again the dog jumped on him. Now you know what he would have done. Again this lady did not even care to say a word sorry. She just started petting the dog. I should take you to the doctor and she started giving some food, medicine. She started taking care of the dog. Now it is too much. The young man silently got up, just picked the dog and threw out of the window. All this time, the old man was keeping quiet. Now he stood up and shouted, You Americans drive in the wrong side, measure with wrong scale, now threw the wrong bitch out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you throw, you always throw only wrong bitch out of the window. All our choice, all our decisions always end in dilemma. This dilemma is what I call mind. Dilemma is the straight, direct explanation or a definition for mind. There are so many definitions for mind. But from my experience I can say this is the right word, dilemma. Continuously moving from this extreme to that extreme. Continuously seeing the other side. Continuously thinking, I should have done that, I should have done this, I should have taken that type of decision. I should have taken this type of decision. Continuously not accepting the present moment is what is the root of the mind. When you close your eyes, whatever happens in your space, whatever you think and whatever you can think, whatever you visualize, whatever you can visualize, Whatever you experience, whatever you can experience, everything, the whole is what I call mind. The root of the mind is dilemma. If you can just accept this moment, the whole reality, the existence as it is, simply you will go beyond mind. You will go beyond mind you will reach, experience the state which we call enlightenment or superconsciousness. Mind, the root of the mind is dilemma. Because you are continuously in dilemma, all your choices, I tell you, when I say all, I mean all. Capital letter A-L-L. All other choices end in suffering. Bliss is choicelessness. When you are choiceless, when you are just accepting the flow, when you just accept the nature, you are in bliss. Actually, bliss is nothing but accepting the reality as it is. But we always say, I accept everything, Swamiji. 
everything is beautiful. Just this one thing, it is around the corner. Let me correct this one thing. Tomorrow I will be happy. And we are in India, we think, if we just get visa, it will be really great. Once we get the visa, if we can have a house in the States, it will be really great. Then, green card. <laughs> then, citizenship. Then, car. <laughs> one by one, one by one, by the time you have a family, already you have mortgaged your life. <laughs> already the life is mortgaged. We just postpone. Just after this, after this, after this, I will be happy. Postponing the bliss, postponing the ecstasy, postponing the joy, which is continuously happening in you, which is your nature, is the root of the mind. Understand? In bliss, you can't have mind. Because bliss happens to you when you are choiceless. In the choicelessness, bliss starts happening. Whenever you choose, you always choose misery.